Hello and welcome to this episode. I'm going to talk about PyDoc and how or why we can or we should generate documentation for our code well in Python. So PyDoc is a built-in Python module that helps us automatically generate documentation for our code. So in one line of code I got something like this HTML report of the built-in modules of Python and the ones that I have and also I wrote this simple module with two functions and then I just added one line of code in my Python and then I got this HTML documentation report of the modules that I have in my code and what they do for example I have this function remove num it takes these parameters returns this this is just awesome but why do we need that on my website pythonology.eu I have written an article recently uh, about this. So first let's see why do we not need to document our code. Thing is it helps you and others to understand your code better. So if you write doc strings or comments for your code other people would know what this code is about, what it does, what kind of arguments or parameters they should provide and what should they expect to, to get out of it. It also saves you time and effort if you use PyDoc. You don't have to write separate documentation files for your code to explain your code and what it does. It automatically generates this for you. And lastly, it makes you, well, and your code look more professional. So if you document it and if you use uh, PyDoc, for example. Now, let's see how we can use PyDoc to generate these files. I'm going to use Thony as my code editor and I have just created these two simple functions and imported another module random which is a Python built-in module. So this function remove num takes this parameter text and what it does it returns it says okay for every character in the text it would go through the character if that character is not in this list one two three return it so basically it just removes that one two three from any text so it's very it's very stupid but simple just for the sake of example another function which removes punctuation from the text and it removes only the uh, full stop uh, question mark and exclamation mark that's it. But now I have also added these two lines, which are doc strings, they call them, or comments, basically enclosed in triple columns. So this makes it possible to have several lines of, uh, of comments and keep the formatting. Here I have mentioned the parameters I expect, which is text as a string format. And what the, the, the other coders should expect that this function would return, which is a text without these numbers in it. That's it. Very simple. So now I want to create a documentation report. But first, let me just get rid of these H this HTML file that I have. So you would see I only have this test.py, basically this one here. So what I can do first is I can use the help function in Python to see what this function does. So let me show you. If I use the help function and provide one of these names, for example, remove number without the parentheses. So let's run this program and you would see here help on function remove num, remove, and you can see now the doc strings here. It takes parameters and returns this. So I can get help by using the help function but I want to generate a document for all the modules or all the functions basically in this module. So I can use the built-in module pydoc. So I import it here and down below what I can do, I can use that import that we used, dot write doc, it's a method to write a document, and the name is going to be test, 
y and not test.py or test.html. So this test is the same name as this file. So now you can see there is no, no HTML files here. Now if I run this, you can see here in the terminal wrote test.html. It was written. Now I have it. Now if I double click on it, look, I get this test module in this directory. These are the modules used or imported in that module, PyDoc and random, as you could see here. So I have random and I have PyDoc. And these are the functions included with these doc strings or comments in it. So remove nom text parameters, return this, and another function doing this. This is just amazing. You see that in basically one line of code here, I want to import. That was it. I can do the same thing without using this code inside the editor, but using the terminal. So let me uh, remove this test here. So you would see it does not exist here. Now I'm going to close this and this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the shell and I'm inside the directory pydoc. So I use this command python m. I'm going to use a module in the command line. And what is the module? It's pydoc. And what am I going to do with it? I'm going to say dash w for write. So write a document and call it test. It's the same name as the module. So it's going to write a document for this test. And if I press enter, you would see wrote test.html. If I go back, you see now the same thing has happened here. So cool. Okay. And by the way, for more information, you can go to the docs.python.org for more information about PyDoc. Okay, now let's do something else. Let's uh, kind of get to know more about PyDoc. So to, to know more the features, what features PyDoc has, I can just simply write again Python dash m because it's a module now what's the module is pydoc and press enter and you can see the list of things you can do with pydoc is a python documentation tool right so if i provide python dash m pydoc and the name of a module like random like math or whatever it shows me the documentation for that so let's just explore it a bit so python dash m pydoc and the name Let's just say math. Press enter and you can see help on built in module math, name, math, description, functions, and there is more. So if I press enter, it goes to next lines. <coughs> Sorry. And if I press Q, it just quits. So there are a couple of more things here. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but there's also PyDoc dash K keyword. So it searches for a keyword in the lines of all available modules. For example, if you look for, I don't know, math, it will give you CMath and others or SQL, SQLite and others. So it would give you all those results. This is host name for this HTTP server. So by default it's local host, but you can just give it another name. Uh, this one also starts an HTTP server on the given port on the local machine. So let me show you what it means. So a uh, Python, uh, uh, yes, okay. So now, so we have Python dash M PyDoc and let's say dash P and let's give it a name like one, two, three, four, five port name, press enter. It says, okay, server ready at this address. So I can press control and click or server commands. I can press just B for the browser here. Let's just say B and press enter. So it opens up this browser uh, with all the built-in modules. As you can see here, um, index of modules. And you can see we have uh, in this folder, for instance, that we were, we have this test module there. And these are the built-in modules available. So you can see much more modules here. 
and you can search for one like for example if you want to go for math you can press get and you can see the math module which here says built-in it's a built-in Python module and it provides access to mathematical functions and then you can see all the functions and their information here it's just amazing this thing okay and let's see and you can quit again by pressing uh, Q and that would be it so that's basically it I hope you um, like this video I, I really appreciate it if you would go to my website check it it helps with the visibility on search engines so I would appreciate that and also if you leave a like uh, to this video if you liked it and if you learned something from it so thank you very much for watching and listening